this is going to be a short video. I just want to say thank you for all your support, all your emails, all your comments. You're an awesome group of people, and this is way more than I expected. I really expected just to share this story for someone else to kind of hear what happened and be prepared for themselves, but <clears throat> the outpour of support for me was just... I was, I was pretty overwhelmed by it, so thank you everyone. I'm fine now. As you can see, I'm back in the darkness. I'm back in Copenhagen. And, um, yeah. Life resumes as normal. I've done a lot of thinking about what happened and a lot of talking to people, and <clears throat> I got a nice really email from my mom about it. And, um, of, of everything that kind of has gone through my head, um, since, since this Friday night assault, let's just call it what it is, I thought if I could do one, I mean, the, the only thing I really wish that I had done differently was I wish that I had just stood up instead of stay sitting down. Because... <clears throat> I would not have been in in this disadvantageous position. And presence is a lot, I think. I think presence is a lot in in situations like that, especially scary ones. Um, <clears throat> so that's the only thing that I wish I'd done differently. I've got, you know, plenty of thoughts about what to do next time. But I will I will definitely try to be aware of my surroundings be aware of how many people are with a potential person that potential meanie a potential bully I have a thing I think I have a thing for bullies uh, a thing against bullies like a grudge because I think I got bullied a lot when I was in in elementary school but I don't know I haven't really thought about it for a long time you know talk about your your submerged memories. Um, anyway, so I think that that bully shit gets to me in particular. And now that I'm so much more confident and comfortable with myself, and I just have this, I feel like I have this stronger energy than I ever did pre-transition. Pre and, um, I want just that simple energy that I put out to be a deterrent so that no one will fuck with me in the first place. But I, I guess I've come to realize that that's not going to work. And that, you know, some people just act irrationally sometimes and are going to act irrationally with me sometimes. And I'll just have to be careful about environment and people and positioning and self-awareness and exits and, you know... Are, is there a beer bottle on the table here that could be used against me? You know, just thinking about this stuff. Trying to reactivate my brain to this, this training that I received. So, yeah. Thank you all. I think you guys are great. And I couldn't be, I couldn't ask for more, really. I'm so glad to be here. I'm so glad to share my stories. And, you know, if I'm helping you out, then I'm, I'm glad. And, you know, if I'm hard to watch. If that video is hard to watch. I'm sorry. But I don't feel like it's worth holding back because then what's the point of sharing? So, I hope you all are well. Uh, I will try to make a video soon now that I'm kind of back in the swing of things. But it's going to be a busy weekend. I have some, some pretty cool stuff happening this weekend. So, we'll see how it goes, alright? See you next time.